Hi there, welcome to another Sims Gameplay channel. I'm continuing on with my quest through the differences in the Family Tree Legacy Challenge. As I was getting things set up, Elwyn aged up, so he is now a child. I will have to upgrade his room a little bit. Uh, it looks like he's trying to nap somewhere else though, but that's not going to happen. Relax yourself, buddy. I'm going to pause for just a moment. I am filming back-to-back -back sessions because I'm really inspired and excited to move into the second generation. In the last session, Yusef died, which is really sad but he did almost finish those objectives. They were optional, not quite get there, but almost. And I'm hoping that his ghost comes back to visit because everybody was really sad, but it looks like they're feeling a little better today. And the twins age up very soon and the second generation will also start very soon. So I'm looking forward to this session to seeing how much more I can get done with Elliot before moving into generation two. I could probably overlap them and continue, but I wanna see how much I can get done, you know, before the next one starts. So that is that. I'm gonna take care of everyone's needs and I'll check in with you in a bit. I mean, I know it makes sense and everything, but it was a little bit sad to come into build mode and find everything from Yusef's inventory. Oh my god, I'm getting so annoyed. Ever since Yusef died, everything in the house is breaking. She's had the broken stove to a broken water collector, the shower, both toilets. I, I mean, I think she's earned... Yeah, I think she's earned two or three levels of handiness since he died, and I think it's only been a couple days. Really annoying. Oh yeah, and one of these things broke out here. Like, come on. What the brick? Can I catch a break? It's annoying. And I'm just trying to get her to make some ding-dong eggs and toast. Do it. Seriously, everything's breaking. This sink's broken, this sink is broken, but there's no ghosts. I've not seen him coming and breaking shit, so that's why it's weird. And Patchy will clean out the freaking sheds. That is cool. Hi, Yusef. I love that he came back to visit. Wait, I'm gonna wake her up. Yes, wake up. Oh no, maybe he is the one jacking everything up. Maybe this is just the first time I've noticed. Get out of there. Yusef, be nice. Is he fixing it? Maybe he's upgrading it. Why would you break it? Um, he did not break it, but I am going to wake her up. Did he fix this? Oh, no, he did not. Yay. Aww. This session's progress was a little bit slower than the last one, I think, but that's just the ebb and flow of the challenge, I suppose. Right now, I'm really working hard to get her to reach the maximum relationship with this cow, whom I named Marshmallow. I love her. And, oh yes, I want to dress her in this sweater. Let me see. Oh, she is so cute. I love it. So... Oh my gosh, these things are really getting annoying. Oh my gosh. Well, I do think that there has been some progress. Elliot is getting there with this cow. She's more than halfway to the max. She's received one gift from a rabbit. His name's Monty, and I believe he really likes her, so maybe he'll be the one to give her the other gifts. And she did just harvest an oversized watermelon. Ooh, there may actually be, oh, there's a cow fair today. I don't know if I'll win a prize for the cow today, but next week there is an oversized crop thing. So maybe we'll do that. Wonderful. 
I do think this was a decent marathon session. I'm sad about Yusef still, but everybody's doing okay, and he's still hanging around, making everything break. I may do another session of this sooner than later, because like I said, I'm super inspired and motivated to get to Generation 2 and get that one rolling. So I hope you're enjoying this challenge as much as I am. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time.